Hey, this could be your theme song for a spin-off show. Brian Mitch is here with us. Live shot at Century Plaza Hotel and Spa. March starts tomorrow. Bring on the spring. And when we look at gardening, the importance of helping bees in our garden, why is this so essential? Well, we've really delayed uh, our spring. Uh, February, we normally in the West Coast, is amazing. But uh, unfortunately, with the cold weather, and uh, I think all of us need a little bit of a lift right now. That's where I brought we have all these wonderful plants in that are in our garden starting to show color. But many of them have a beautiful perfume right now. <clears throat> and uh, but the, it's and that we have to think differently today because it's not just about us anymore. Uh, it's about habitat loss, particularly for bees. And when it gets 10 degrees Celsius, they come out of the ground and they're needing pollen more than ever before. So things like this beautiful Himalayan sweet box here, the Circa Coca yeah. Roscifolia. It, uh, I see people walking down the street and they mm. stop. They have no idea where this perfume is coming from. But the bees are looking for this as well. And probably more importantly, uh, this is a skimmia, but a male skimmia. And you can see the buds are just beginning to open up right now. It exudes a beautiful perfume. But bees glom onto this one almost right away. <laughs> so we're getting uh, beauty, we're getting fragrance, and we're getting the, the pollinators out there too, which is kind of cool. Well, what's a bigger factor? Is it the fragrance? Is it the color? Because I see we're playing with colors too. You know, that's a, that's a very good question. It's a combination of things, always with bees. It's a little more complex than sometimes we think. Uh, but uh, they're looking for open flowers where they can find pollen. Okay. And uh, so that's what we, we need to, to be looking at. The beautiful Helleborus really got delayed in flowering this year right now. But uh, all through the wintertime, uh, whenever we had uh, 10 degree temperatures, they come right to the Helleborus, which is, which is great. And uh, not a huge fragrance, but the beautiful heather. Uh, the winter flowering heather, you know, in a few weeks uh, when we start putting it out, people won't be able to buy them because they're smothered in bees, which is such a wonderful thing to be able to, to see and enjoy. And in terms of fragrance, though, something a little unusual, this is what is called a Himalayan, well, actually uh, a fragrantissima honeysuckle. It's a honeysuckle that is highly perfumed and blooms in the middle of winter. Mm. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It just throws that amazing perfume out there everywhere, which is kind of great right now. And uh, unfortunately, just finishing right now, the stunning Chinese witch hazels with the spidery-like yellow blossoms, they exude incredible perfume as well. How important is it to have variety of flowers and plants in the garden? That is a secret. Diversity in all we do in the garden. It's not just one thing, oh, I'm going to plant a whole bunch of these. Uh, it's more important to have diversity out there. So in the sequential opening up of the various flowers, and that's why there's lots of things in spring that bees can go to, but at this time of year, not so much. And that's why these are so very important to be able to have. So as one would begin to decline or finish blooming, the next one would begin. And you try and do that all through the year, which is important. But don't forget, in terms of perfume, it's wonderful to walk out in a garden oh, and, and enjoy that perfume after such a long winter, you know, with, with sure. being the way it is. These two over these here? These are great. Um, this is from the Himalayas as well. And this particular one I love, it's called the Winter Buttercup Hazel. And uh, it's uh, Coriolopsis. But I got to tell you, what happens is, the bees will get in here, they'll climb right inside, and they just drink pollen out of this particular one as well. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't have a high perfume, but this is the most wonderful plant. It's a dogwood that blooms in February. And not only that, uh, so lots of uh, pollen for the bees, uh, they turn into beautiful dark edible cherries in August, and then it has stunning fall color. This is like the all year round plant. Okay, we have, we've got time for one more. And, uh, one, okay, France, I'm hold this uh, up I just got back from Germany at the, the IPM show. It's the largest in the world. This one, the top novelty plant in the entire world. It's the first hardy succulent that turns golden in winter, and uh, it's a stunner. So we're always looking for cool new things to add to our garden. That's the coolest, uh, newest thing in the world, apparently, which is kind of great. Winter has spoken. Plenty of ideas to get ready for the spring season. Brian, thanks so much for coming in. Yes, what a pleasure. Okay, we'll take a break. Uh, final look at weather.